All right, guys. I know I had something else planned for today. Put a short up talking about something I ain't going to talk about in this video. Something else came up. You want to know a little something about being a real Christian? Well, I'm not going to cover it all in this video. I'm going to share something with you. So, I'm walking through a very secluded part of some woods. An area where people don't or are not known for traveling. And I come upon a faint smell of fire. So, I jump into the woods. As you can see, there's no trail. Well, there's a game trail. That's not a human trail. This is a game trail. And if you are an avid outdoors person or a hunter, you know what a game trail is versus an actual human trail. I like following game trails. It's fun. Started smelling fire. If you're wondering, crisis averted. I've moved on. But I'm going to tell you about it. I started smelling fire. I said, oh. Maybe there's a vagabond out here. Having a little campfire. Go up and say hi. Why the heck not? You live once, right? Following these game trails. Slash trudging through bushes and undergrowth. Get about 30 yards from this makeshift homeless camp. Is, at least that's what I think it is. This guy immediately pulls a rifle on me. Shotgun, rifle, I don't know what it was. I didn't get a close enough look at it. I took about five more steps. Stopped. Looked at him, and I told him. I said, either you're an idiot, or you have a death wish, or you're suicidal. Which is it? And then I proceeded to walk up to his fire. <clears throat> and he handed me a beer. Here's the thing about being a Christian. Modern day churchianity is not Christianity. In any flavor that I have experienced. I have yet to find a congregation. I don't care how sweet and sensitive your spirit is. I know there's a lot of really good people on this planet. But a couple thousand years ago, people were being killed for what they believed in. They're still being killed for what they believe in today in some parts of the world. Well, that's where the real Christians are anyway. Moral of the story. You can't kill somebody who can't die. Who are the real Christians? Those who know they don't die. Yeah, I know. You put yourself in a dumb situation. You die. You leave your family because you were stupid. Blah, blah, blah. No. Do you walk with God or not? Come on. Do you walk with God or not? If you don't, that's fine. Guess what? Hell is a pagan myth. Live and let live. But if you want to run around and pretend to be a Christian, why don't you be a real one? And engage people who actually need human interaction. Those people that are collecting money on the side of the road, 
nine times out of ten, actually 99, eh, we'll say 999 out of a thousand of them are running a business that are it's going to fund their addiction. We all know this. Either give them money or don't give them money, right? That's the question. No, that's not the question. How many of you stopped to get out of your car, parked, walked over to them, said, hey, how you doing? Tried to actually befriend this person? Find out why they're in this situation? What in their life has brought them to this Regardless of they, regardless if they've been just a low life their whole life, or if they've gone through life and events, maybe they were rich, maybe they were balling, maybe they were on yachts, and then shit hit the fan. They lost a screw somewhere. Now they're on the street street corner asking for a few bucks so they can get their fix. Or get their next meal, whatever. Can't, you don't know, till you know. But how many of y'all acted like a real Christian? It's the golden rule. Now, this is not a guilt trip. Because I'm not telling you, you have to do this. You, you are free to do exactly what you do. Without feeling guilty. You are to be led by the Spirit of God. And whatever happens, whatever footsteps you follow, ultimately, God guides your footsteps. You can make plans, but God's going to guide your footsteps. Now, most church factions or Christian sects will guilt trip you in one direction or another. Because they got to keep you bound in their system. I was going to say cult, but I'm not feeling super mean today. But it is what it is. Y'all get the point. Here's the thing. Y'all, Christianity ain't about doctrine. The gospel is good news. We live forever. You can't kill someone who doesn't die. And when I walked up on this guy, all he needed was human interaction. That's it. Half an hour of human interaction. I bet I made that guy's day. I bet I made that guy's year. I didn't have anything to give him. Life is hard right now. But I hung out with him. Encouraged him. Said, hey man. You're never alone. You can change someone's life with the power of God. Good luck doing that. In your cult. You show up every Sunday to appease your guilt and drop your 10% in the bucket. Why don't you save that 10%? You're not obligated to tithe. Tithing is a cult idea. Tithing wasn't even God's idea in the Old Testament. It was a man-made idea. Same, It's an imperial, governmental, carnal, humanistic idea. It helps governments run. Someone's got to pay the king. Someone's got to pay the king's servants. Someone's got to build the roads. Tithing's got nothing to do with God. Generosity, on the other hand, that's a different story. God owns cattle on a thousand hills, right? Well, actually, God owns everything, and he's in everything. So... The widow that paid her two pence paid more than anyone else in history. Why is that?
getting a phone call. Hope y'all can't hear it. You need to rethink reality. What's your point? Why are you alive? Seriously. Why wake up in the morning? Think about it. Taste and see that the Lord is good. <laughs>